Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I just wanted to go over why, where I've been and why I've been gone from YouTube for so long. I haven't made a video in quite a while and I've been spacey. Um, I made a video today of my snowmobile that's outside um, when we're running. Um, expect snowmobile content in the future it's i'm working on stuff right now to get the uh, proper equipment for editing and filming um but i've just never had time to sit down and actually talk to the camera until now to discuss why i've been departing from youtube um as most of you don't know i do have a job work a uh, full-time job working um, but on the weekends, I'm also very busy doing other stuff. I, you know, build, I build RCs. I, I do other stuff. I work on my sled. Um, I just pick up stuff on the side. Sometimes I do side jobs occasionally. Um, but now I'm in the mix of do I start YouTube again because I haven't really been on here much lately and the, this platform is great and all but I've got my TikTok account I, I post to I've got almost 700 some followers on there and it's just expanding and I mean the amount of uh, love I'm getting on TikTok is great I, I, I totally appreciate it and I love all my uh, followers that I have on here I, I just the amount of people that I never expected for this to go this big um I know it's not a lot but it means a lot to me um the um the past couple months I've had a lot of stuff come up and I just didn't see the time to make this video and I've just been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. And until now, I finally got the nerve to just sit down and talk to this camera right here. Um, but I feel as if there's not a lot of stuff I can upload anymore. Like, if I were to upload video games, off of Outlaws hasn't come out with an update for a while now. It's, the game is so... It, it's it's easier just to do the, the stuff that you can do in the game in real life at this point the game has just become pointless to me now I don't even play games on my phone anymore um I can't remember the last time I screen recorded an off-road outlaws video it probably was a year ago if not longer um I've been working on a couple things I've been sticking busy with work obviously and there's some behind the stuff scenes that will will be revealed soon um i do have two new cars i will feature on the channel it's they're already on my tiktok they're also on my facebook they're not on my instagram uh but um I'd like to know what everyone on this platform would like to see as content-wise. Um, I've been posting what I want to post, and I mean, there's nothing wrong with that as far as my creativity, but I could become more creative and find something else that someone else would like. Um, I was thinking leaning more into the automotive side as with like the snowmobile showing how to properly maintain one how to go about buying one um what to look for what not to look for um i don't know if you're getting a good deal or not uh stuff like that and uh uh just basic stuff. Uh, now, before I can 
to start doing the snowmobile content, I have to fall back and decide if I want to turn to RC stuff. Um, I'm done with the Hot Wheels stuff. That's done and over with, gone. Um, I stopped that a long time ago. Um, it just wasn't going anywhere. Um, the RCs are like the biggest thing right now. There, there's a huge industry in reviewing, uh, showing how to uh, maintain them, how to upgrade them, how to install parts, how to uh, uh, diagnose what's wrong with it, stuff like that. It, it's just big. Um, but uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do. I mean, I want your opinion on what you want me to film. Um, I will be looking for an editor. Um, I, I will pay. Um, I will have the camera equipment and everything. I, I'll have that. I just need someone to edit videos. I don't have the knowledge or I don't feel like putting in the knowledge to figure out how to do it because I feel like I just screw it up. Um, uh, and uh, I probably will get the new GoPro. I'll get that helmet cam. Um, I'll get all the attachments, chest cam, uh, all that good stuff. Uh, I'll get a microphone and everything for my helmet, um, just so you can hear me talk and go on and on about what's, what we're doing in the day that we go out riding. I will be riding with one of my friends. Uh, he has a snowmobile as well. Um, so we'll feature him on the channel. Um, We'll probably be getting a couple other people on the channel soon, hopefully, if we can. Um, so we're 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 expanding. Um, another reason why I've been distant is that um, I've been having a lot. Of, I've I've had a lot going on. Just mental wise, I didn't see the necessary uh, necessity of making a video and putting effort into making one, and uh, I just didn't feel like doing it anymore. I, I almost just you know signed out and called it that, but no, I, I kept with it. I uploaded a video today. I uploaded one a couple months ago, and I've been uploading you know here there. Uh, what was it? Uh, three months ago, I made a video of the OG Slash. The OG Slash is now gone. It's said its goodbyes, and so has the two-wheel drive VXL. I converted the four, four uh, OG Slash to a VXL. Um, did everything I wanted to do with it, and listed them both up on Marketplace. And I had a guy message me saying he wanted them for his son so i said sure yeah here take them i don't need them then i bought uh a trx4 bronco the 2021 bronco fell in love with it and then i got the Fortech vxl 2.0 I ran it once, and it just does. Uh, it's I don't have the right space for it because of how much power it really has. It's a it's a great car. Don't get me wrong, I love it, but I just don't have the room to run this thing on my road. And my road will just destroy it. Um, because I live on a hill and it's a low car and it it just scrapes. Uh. So I am trying to get rid of it. If anyone is interested, just send me a message. 
Um, I do have the list up on Marketplace. I will negotiate the price a little bit. Um, it is brand new, I only ran it once. Uh, after that car, I got a 79 Bronco TRX4 that I'm currently upgrading in the background as we speak. That's sitting over here. Um, if you notice my TikTok name has changed to that 79 Bronco on NJ's, uh, it, three piece NJ's, that's, hence the name. It's sitting on three piece Injora beadlock rims and Proline BF Goodrich cam three tires. I put a steel hitch on the rear. Um, it is getting, uh, I have a plow for it that I have to assemble, chains for the old tires. Um, uh, a couple other things that are going to go on it. I mean, I'm not going to go all out with it. I'm going to put a light kit on it along with the other Bronco. The other Bronco, I put a roof box on. Um, there's a couple things that are going to go along with them that I cannot show yet. They have not come in yet. Um, once they come in, I'll go over what they are and everything. Um, they, I'll probably have them in soon, hopefully. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's basically what's going on with the RCs. Um, I, as you can, I don't know who has viewed the previous video before this one, because this one's going to be uploaded tonight. I usually film a video the same if I film a video I upload it the same night um, I uploaded a video of me cold starting my 2003 Skidoo MXZ 500 um, it is a totally different snowmobile than my 2001 that you have seen on my TikTok Instagram and Facebook totally different snowmobile this is a 2003 my old one was a 2001 I paid for this one myself I had no help um, I went last weekend with my dad and picked it up and I fell in love with it fell in love came home got it unloaded ran it right to where it sits now um, and every other every once in a while I'll go out and start it up and give it a couple revs and call it that but um it does need a couple things i don't know i didn't put in the video but it does need an exhaust that's why it's smoking so bad um it does need an oil change it needs to cool and flush it needs fresh gas because it has been sitting for three years but otherwise the body is in great condition besides the front bumper um no cracks in the seat no tears in the seat um no cracks in the windshield no nothing wrong with that um the motor runs great it, it, pro it probably is going to need the carbs clean because it is a double cylinder and not a single um it's gonna need both carbs cleaned and gone over um i did post a video on tiktok of what the engine compartment looks like I'll, I'll post it up here later um the inside is full of pine needles and stuff like that it's just filthy on the inside it's disgusting like you can take your hand and just scoop stuff out like by the handful um i've got to get that off of it it is covered in sap because it sat under a pine tree and uh for three years it's sat since 2019 it's now 2022 does have a registration i will be hitting the trails this year around here um probably promised land the o and w um i will not go to new york with it if i do take it to new york it'll be in a field um since it is an older sled um plans for are getting a rider forward seat for it um, getting the trailing arms powder coated, probably the springs get powder coated, um, maybe Fox suspension, so it'll, it'll handle better. Um, 
a new can and a new exhaust all, all around because it's pretty bad. Um, maintenance wise, it, it's going to get gone over by a professional mechanic because I don't have the time to do it. Plus, I don't know anything about carburetors on how to clean them or anything. I just know how to tear apart engines and put them back together. That's all I've learned. I don't know how to clean it. I never learned to carb a, uh, clean a carb. Um, I'd like to learn in the future. Um, but I do know the proper maintenance and everything of them. Uh, that everything is in really good condition on it. Um, I would like uh, to take it, like I said, to Promise Land and possibly the ONW this year. So I'll have to get it registered through the trails and everything. I have to get my license and everything done and settled. Um, But it, does, it, it it starts right up, no problem whatsoever. I mean, it's also warm outside, so once we get into colder weather, it'll, it'll definitely run good. Uh, as you can see in the video, I don't know who has seen it or hasn't seen it, um, but it gets up to three grand at an RPM, and it, the clutch wants to engage, and it just wants to go. And being the person I am, I cannot wait to take this thing out. Like I, I cannot wait. I mean, it's it's an incredibly loud machine, but it still, it still sounds good. It kinda. <laughs> uh, I would like to put an MBRP on it, but I don't know the legal limits of the decibels. I know in the state of Pennsylvania we are limited to an 82 decibel exhaust. I don't know what. Uh, an MBRP uh, decibel rate is. I do know that they are a three horsepower gain. They slip right on. You just slip the you uh, slip the springs on. Unbolt your old uh, suitcase of an of a can. I, I call them. They they're the size of a uh, suitcase. Um, take that and throw it right away. And you just slap this nice stainless steel can on. And gain three horsepower um, and uh, it sounds better it just has that nice two-stroke sound and it doesn't sound like a garbage can rolling down the road at two o'clock in the morning like it does right now don't get me wrong I, I like loud things but that's just absurdly loud um, I'm sure one every once in a while my neighbors will complain because of how loud it is I'm sure they're not very happy right now but that sucks for them I don't care uh, that's their problem not mine I don't start it at 9 o'clock at night I start it as soon as I get out of school because I've seen your early dismissal run it for about 2 minutes shut it off and pull the key out of the ignition, take it inside, and let it set. That's all I do. I rev it, and I mean, I get on it just a just tad little bit, just enough to get it to rev. Like to, I go up to like 2,000, 2,500, and that's when I back off. But today I gave it up to 3,000 to like 3,500 and backed off and I engaged the clutch. A little bit, which that's why it caused that lift up a little bit. Uh, I mean, I've just I've fallen in love with this thing. Um, uh, but my friend that's going to be riding with me, he rides an Arctic Hat uh, double cylinder. He is currently working on his as well. His needs a stator. Mine needs just maintenance. Mine runs. His does not right now. We are we're communicating back and forth on what the plan is for this winter, what we're gonna do, um, what trails we're gonna hit. Um, 
uh, and stuff like that. Um, both of us have to get our licenses, um, so we can ride, and both of us have to get our sleds registered. We're more work working on his snowmobile at the moment. I'm not uh, helping him. His uncle is actually helping him. Uh, I offered my help. He said no. His uncle's helping him. But uh, if he needed me, he would pull, he would uh, bring me over. And uh, it's it's I mean it's in really good condition. It's a ninety something Arctic and El Tigre, which is rare. Great sled. I think it's a five thirty. Um, <clears throat> du uh, dual pipe, uh, double cylinder. Mine's a double cylinder, single pipe exit. This is a double pipe exit, which is cool. I mean, they sound really cool when they start up. Uh, uh, this is also in very good condition. It just needs the stator, like I had said. Um, But other than that, it, it's a great sled. It's a, it's his first, uh, as well as this is my second. I wanted something that I knew, something I could work on. Uh, another 500 because I, I didn't want to deal with the struggle of a 600. Uh, I would like to have a 2006 600, not a 2001 to 2002 uh, 600 because they are carbureted as well as the 2006 is EFI electric, uh, electric fuel injected. Uh, so you don't have to deal with carbs, but both have their advantages and disadvantages. Um, my mom actually has a 2003, same year as mine, different body style though because there's a half year uh, MXZ 600 SDI HO it H-O-S-D-I E-F-I and that sled is wicked I mean it, it gets up and goes um both of our sleds have the same gauge cluster same uh type of like bar layout of the controls that are on the left hand side other than the body style and engine and chassis they are nearly alike as where, but mine is not a beaver tail, hers is. So it has the different track and everything, different uh, uh, cog wheels and everything like that. But hers is also in great condition. I don't know when she's getting it back. Um, but yeah, I mean, We've, we're trying to convince our other friends to get snowmobiles at this point because uh, there's only two of us to have them at, at the time. Um, my really good friend that I'm like really close with, we're trying to convince him, and he's like, "Yeah, they're the only thing that that's probably the only thing my mom will get me, uh, will allow me to get," um, which is a good thing. Uh, so you can go riding with us and uh, yeah um, but if you could please let me know in the comments below uh, what I can do to improve the channel um, what I can do to change the channel in a positive way um, what I can upload stuff that you guys would like to see um now i do work monday through friday i work friday uh three to five and then i have the uh, rest of the weekend to myself but i'm usually busy so i'm gonna try and uh continue this we're gonna test it out a little bit next weekend hopefully hope i'm hoping um as to see like what I can do um, as of my schedule changes. Um, 
because I, I haven't had much time to actually like figure out when I was going to make a video. I knew I wanted to make a video on my snowmobile and I also want to continue the RC content that I've been making. Um, so it's going to fluctuate between the two as of right now until someone says, hey, you know, you could do this or you could do that or you can change this. Can you uh, show this or stuff like that. Now, I don't like to talk about my personal life or anything on here, so I will stay away from that. Um, uh, there's really not much more I can really go over um, right now. So, yeah. If you could, please subscribe, like, comment, uh, share, and... Uh, have a good night and grab yourself a nice cold Pepsi and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.